This is the third section of the variable acceleration chapter and we can apply all the stuff that we've learned in differentiation about finding maximum and minimums um, and we can apply all of that to these uh, differentiations that we've done of um, displacement velocity and acceleration so for example if I wanted to find so if I've got s or x for my displacement and I want to find the maximum or minimum displacement then I work out ds dt yeah I differentiate just like you would if it was y equals something x and you want to work out what the maximum or the minimum is then you would do dy dx if I've got my velocity v for velocity and I want to find my maximum or minimum velocity I differentiate that and I find dv dt okay now ds dt is the velocity and da dv dt is the acceleration okay so we can use all those things um, that we did in normal dif differentiation and just apply them to these problems okay our child is playing with the yo-yo the yo-yo leaves the child hand child's hand at t equals zero seconds and travels vertically in a straight line before returning to the child's hand probably breaking the child's hand in the process the distance s of the yo-yo from the child's hand after time t seconds is given by this humongous well it's not that big expression there justify the restriction that the time can only be between zero and three okay now there's lots of different ways we could do part a we could um, draw a sketch of the graph work out some values of t which are less than zero or greater than three but either way what we'll find is that uh, for values of t outside of that range the displacement s will be negative okay so um, we could even write something like the model um, is not valid for t less than or equal to zero or t greater than or equal to three since it will give a displacement s less than zero okay and we can't have less than zero while the yo-yo -yo goes back into the child's body through their chest and we don't want that happening that's why we got our restriction part b find the maximum distance of the yo-yo from the child child's hand right maximum distance maximum distance is going to be given by ds dt equals zero yeah so let's differentiate s and find ds dt so that would be 0 0.6 plus 0.8t minus 0.6t squared we're going to set that equal to zero so um, let's put it in order minus 0.6t squared plus 0.8t plus 0.6 equals zero that's not particularly nice to solve in the way that it's written so i'm going to multiply everything by negative 10 so put times by negative 10 here i might simplify afterwards so i've got 6t squared minus 8t um, minus 6 let's simplify that divide everything by 6 so I get t squared, oh, divided by 6 not a good idea, because I want to keep whole numbers. So let's divide everything by 
2. It's more like it. 3t squared minus 4t minus 3 equals 0. Now, I'm not really in the mood to try and solve this by um, manually, so I'm just going to grab my calculator. You might want to do it manually if you want to. Uh, menu and A, polynomial, degree 2, and let's put in 3, negative 4. So I could have just put in the original values actually, negative 3. So I get a value of x, or really t, of 2 plus root 13 over 3. I could have got that by using the quadratic equation or completing the square. Um, and that is, as a decimal, three significant figures, um, uh, 1.87, because so I can just press the SD button. Uh, if I press um, equal again, I get the other value of t, but that's negative, so I, I, I ignore that. Now that's the time. What I now need to do is to substitute the exact value back into S because I want to find the distance. So I'm actually going to store that number. So even though I'm writing down 1.87, this is like the rounded number. I'm just going to put dot, dot, dot to show that I'm actually going to put, be putting an exact value in. So I think it's 1.87 or even 1.86. But I'll use the answer button. It's going to be squared minus 0.2 and then this number again cubed to get s. Now I use the exact value after I pressed equals and got this 2 plus root 13. I pressed the sto button which is under the minus sign, and I stored it to A, and there's like a little red A on a button above, and I stored it in there, and then I recalled it, went back to uh, menu and one calculator mode, and then what I did was that I um, typed in the formula for S, and uh, every time I wanted the exact value, I did shift and the SDO button, it says recall, and then A, and it has a list, when you press the recall, it has a list of all the different numbers you have in the memory, and this to three significant figures is 1.2129, so 1.21 to three significant figures, so this is the one we want to free SF, and that's going to be meters. So you should now be able to do exercise 11C on page 187 to 188. And all you need to remember now that if you want the uh, max or min displacement, the maximum or minimum displacement, then we set the SDT equal to zero if we want the max or min velocity we set the VDT equal to zero